Hello, my name's Stephen, and today we're looking at ACA, Mathematics, GCSE. Um, the paper is available at the ACA website, and we've got more videos at Academic Supply at this web page. Okay, the question three of the exam says explain why the sum of the angles in any quadrilateral is 360 degrees. Well, let's have a look at what this question is saying. Any quadrilateral, well quad actually means four. So in any quadrilateral here one, two, three, four. This figure is given in the paper. Um, in any quadrilateral, actually has four sides, and actually has four angles. And these four angles here, let's call them A, B, C, D. Well, all those angles add up to three hundred degrees. So A plus B plus C plus D equals 360 degrees. Now explain why this is so. Well let's have a quick think. Um, why could this be so? Well let's have a look. Um, let's think about a triangle. A triangle Tri being three, triangle, so it's got three sides and three angles. Well, we know that is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, could we use this fact to help us solve this? Well, actually, any quadrilateral can actually be split into two triangles. Sorry, um, if I use a line here, I can actually split this quadrilateral into two triangles. So this triangle with three sides now we have three sides here one two three and three angles one two three and also this has three sides this triangle here and that one they share a side and another three angles okay so what have we got here we've got one triangle here with 180 degrees and one triangle here with 180 degrees and also we see that this angle this one plus this one equals the angle of the quadrilateral and that one is the same angle of the quadrilateral and this one is a summation of this green angle so what we've got here is the two key angles are A and D. Um, sorry, A and C. Those two angles now have been split into, if we call this angle A1, this one A2, this one C2, this one's C1. So now we can see that A is now made up of A1 plus A2, and C is actually C1 plus C2. So we can simply say from this that the angles of this triangle plus this triangle will give you the quadrilateral triangle. So we have 180 degrees from one triangle plus 180 degrees from another triangle gives you the 360 degrees and um, 
that is our proof that the quadrilateral is made up of 360 degrees and that gives you two marks so two marks and question A is complete now let's have a look at question B um, question B so we're using quadrilaterals again a quadrilateral has one right angle the other angles are 2x x minus 2 12 and x minus 6 so one here is a quadra um, is a right angle so we've got 90 degrees there and the other angles 2x 3x minus 12 and x minus 6 well what do we know from question A from question A we know that all the angles of a quadrilateral should equal 360 degrees so it says um, says here question 1 of B question I write down an equation in terms of X well we can write an equation 360 degrees because we know that equals starting at 90 90 plus 2x plus 3x minus 12 plus x minus 6 so let's count how many x's we've got we've got 2x there plus 3x plus another x so we've got 6x's and we've got 90 minus 12 minus 6 well minus 12 minus 6 is minus 18 90 minus 18 well 90 minus 20 would be 70 but it's 18 so it's 72 okay now we can bring the 72 across to the other side and we get 360 minus 72 equals 6x right 360 minus 72 well 360 minus 70 is 290 plus minus another 2 you get 288 equals 6x now dividing both sides by 6 we get x equals 288 divided by 6 right we know that 6 times 100 is 600 so 6 times half of that amount, 6 times 50, is going to be 300. And 300 moving down, well, 300 moving down 12 gives you 288. So 50 moving down 2, because uh, 6 times 2 is 12, gives x equals 48. And that will give us one mark. Oh, sorry, this will give us one mark here. Yeah. And then we've solved our equation now, and that gives us one mark. Okay, now it says find the size of the largest angle in the quadrilateral. Well, we don't really know which the largest one is. Is it this one or this one or this one? Well, we can substitute it x equals 48 in to find out which is the largest one you can probably see that it's going to be this one as the angle intuitively is bigger but so let's take that one first 3x minus 12 while replacing x with 48 we get 3, three times 48 this being a times sign don't mix it up with the x well, 3 times 48 minus 12. Well, let's do 3 times 48 first. Well, 3 times 40 is 120. 
and 3 times 8 is 24 so 24 plus 20 is 144 now we can minus off the 12 and 144 minus 12 gives 132 okay that's clearly bigger than 2 times 48 because 2 times 48 is 96 48 minus 6 is 42 so I won't go through and calculate those but we get an extra mark here uh, one mark and that gives us the three marks available for this question there's an extra two marks here available for part two of the question so three marks in total and then you can move on to question four and uh, looking to get high marks in this exam. Thank you.